Okay, now the main difference this year between last year and fifth grade um, is the introduction to positives and negatives. That's why this is harder. All right, I know everybody here knows how to add fractions, but we haven't really had to add fractions with positives and negatives. So if you know the rules for positives and negatives, then this is, guess what? Easy. Super, super, super easy. All right, if you don't know the rules for adding and subtraction, this is going to be very difficult. All right, but I'm comfortable with all of you guys. I think you all know the rules. Now, some of you guys came up to me on the test. You said, do I have to reduce the fractions? Always reduce the fraction. You never have to ask me that. Now, if I say the answer is 4 thirds, do I reduce that to 1 and 1 third? That's not even reducing. That's converting from one form to the other. All right, is everybody with me on that? All right, reducing is when you can divide out a common factor. When you can divide out a common factor. All right, so here we go. Now remember, I said I'm going to do the odds with you today because I just think there's a lot of problems, and I, I, don't, I don't want you to have so much for homework. All right, so again, here we go. Notice once again, guys, I left out all of the word problems because next week we're going to start all the word problems, okay? All right, then we're going to have a word problem test, all right, which you'll be fine with, all right? A lot of kids think they have trouble with word problems. You won't, all right? It's just the application, all right? Add, subtract, multiply, divide, all right? So with question number one, I would like someone to tell me what 3, 6 plus 5, 6 is. Now, I want you to be in details, all right? So, Ms. Addison, tell me, what would it be? <coughs> Say it. Yeah, 8, 6. Come on, loud and proud, girl. 8 over 6. Don't worry about being wrong anyway. And then that reduces to what? I'm going to go around the room. You are up, yes. Yes, 4 thirds. That is the answer. Does anybody have any problems with that? Now, you don't have to write the original problem down, all right, because these are so simple. You either know how to add or subtract or you don't. All right? What? Why don't you reduce 3, 6 to 1 half? If you want to make the problem harder, because then you'd have to get a common denominator. Oh, okay. True? Right? All right. Michaela, you're up. Let's look at number three. Beautiful, which is? You're awesome. Perfect, guys. All right, now this is the answer. That's what I want on your paper. I don't want just negative one half because you're brilliant. We're not doing that. You're telling me what the answer is, and then you're reducing the fraction. That's what you're doing. All right, no skipping steps. All right, now remember we talked about neatness. So I want you to skip a line, all right? I want you to work on your neatness. Don't be sloppy, all right? That's part of the discipline, all right? Number five. Okay, Elise. Oh, okay. So you add um, three and nine at first, so it's the nine and then three and nine. Yes. And then you add three and nine, so it's three and eight. Beautiful. Nine and eight over eight. So that equals ten. So that equals ten. Now, I expect some of you to say, wow, I don't remember that. Is everybody comfortable with 9 and 8 eighths is the same as 10, right? Anybody have any issues? Mm -mm. Nope. Because 8 divided by 8 is what? 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. All right. Ben, number 7. All right. What is S, please? S is 2 over 7. Minus, what's T? Um, T is negative 3 So do I write minus negative? Um, yeah. I just write what? Um, just 3 what type of 3 over 7? Um, so let me show you what I mean. Here's what, here's what everybody should write down, I guess. And then you can see what I'm saying. Do we write the double negatives now in no. math? No. Ben, do you understand me or not? Yeah. Okay. It's because you looked a little confused. Are you are you good? Yeah. So how do I really want you to write this? Bless you. Um, 
How do I really want you to write that? No. Double negatives. No, stop talking. This right here is automatically a what? Yes, there you go. So I need you to remember that, okay? Double negatives mean what? Positive. So I just want you to rewrite this as two sevenths plus three sevenths. And what is two sevenths plus three sevenths? He knows. Five over seven. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. And then I'm going to ask somebody just to make sure I'm, I'm correct. Hold on a second. Bless you again. Is, are, are we understanding this? Is that good? Yes, I was just wondering, do we have to write out the double negatives? No, I don't want you to write out the double negatives. All right, whenever you see minus a negative, just write what? Just write a plus. All right, now sometimes you might make a careless mistake, so you've got to be real careful. Question. Okay, so tell me which one. Do you want me to go back to number three? Yeah. So what's four minus ten? You see what I'm saying, right? That's all, right? You're just doing it just like it's an integer, right? That's all. Same rules apply. Same rules apply. All right, so now I'm on number nine. Go. Uh, what I know, what's R though? Oh, R is negative four over seven. So negative four over seven minus, over seven. which is, six over seven. I'm happy with you, negative six over seven. <clears throat> Everybody comfortable with that so far? Everybody comfortable? Tell me. Do you have an improper I'm not, I don't have one yet. What? I don't, I, yeah, I don't, we said, I don't care how you do it, right? I, I honestly don't want you putting minus a negative. I just think that's a waste of time. Everybody understand here, two negatives makes a what? Positive, positive right? Ben, you understand that now, right? Why not? I can't understand you. You understand me, though, right now? That's all I'm asking, all right? Good. All right, so now I'm on 13. All right, so here we go. Aiden. Negative four over what? Twelve. Which reduces to uh, one, two, negative one third. Now again, you guys are just judging for yourself. Are you getting it right or not getting it right? So we're happy with that explanation. All right, here we go. We're on fifteen now. Go. Three over seven. Totally good. Right? Chloe, 17. Mm. Yes, 11 and 4 over 9. we got to be careful. Does anybody have any issues with that? Because you're subtracting the whole numbers and subtracting the fractions. Now, it's definitely going to get harder. What? We'll talk about it when we get there. Yes. All right. I'll, I'll show you exactly what to do. What? No. No, we don't. All right. You don't convert from an improper to a mix. You with me? Okay. Yes, ma'am. I don't know. What's five minus one? Right, so let me just show you what this means again. This is the same as 12 and 5 ninths minus 1 and 1 ninth. Remember that? Yeah, that's all. Right, everybody knows how to do this. It's just with the positives and negatives, sometimes it looks trickier. That's why some of you are asking me some questions, and we're not there yet, I promise you. All right, we're getting there to the harder ones. All the different possibilities we'll be discussing. But right now, you just have to say, if you understand this problem, then we can move on. 
All right, if you don't understand this problem, raise your hand, and then we talk about it. All right? So that was number 17, right? So 19. Actually, you're up. That's right, negative 2 over 11. Anybody have any issues with that? Everybody good? Thought so. All right, let's continue on. 21. What's the matter? No, no, we're just going right down, right down the road. All right, everybody's going to get a shot today because I need to make sure everybody remembers their fraction. Olivia, go. 21, please. Uh, 14 over 20, which is... What type of 14, then? Positive. Oh, wait, no, we're subtracting, so negative 14 over 10. Right. Now, now, again, remember what I'm saying. If if I can help you at all, you just have to tell me, okay? Okay. So negative 14 over 20, do you agree with that? Yes. So final answer? Uh, negative 7 over 10. Yes, negative 7 over 10. What? Well, those are just negative 7. No. That's if we're multiplying, right? Do you agree with that? You owe 7 and you owe 7. You owe 14. Do you agree with me? Now, I know what you're thinking. We had double negatives up here, and you told me to change to a positive. Is that what you're thinking? What was the difference between the double negatives up here when we did it? It was right here. The double negatives are right next to each other. Right here. You know what I'm saying now, right? All right, here we go. Hey, come on in. Join the fun. Round of applause for you today in chapel. 23. Tell us. Thank you. Um, now, tell me again. Tell me again. Um, what did you do with the negative 8 and the negative 4? Um, my question is, I'm not, I didn't hear you, so I'm not saying you're wrong. Okay, so I'm just trying to say, I, I want you to tell me how you're getting the answer now. Because these are the ones that are a little bit harder, so you need your, to be more attentive now, please. Um, I added 8 and 4. Good, and tell me what that is. Uh, 12. What kind of 12? Positive. Negative 12, do you agree? Now remember, I'm always trying to teach kids, it's like you are, uh, you owe 8 and you owe 4, you owe 12. Now, She's asking me the very same question. Well, their double negatives isn't a positive. That's not what I said. You agree with me? Right? You understand what I'm saying now, right? You sure? Yeah. All right. So now what do I do with the 9 and the 3? Um, I there you go. Exactly. So that becomes what? 12 over 10. Yeah, 12 over 10. Now, of course, we have to reduce. So go. So well, no, you're, you're very good, but we're going to break it down for everybody else. So what is 12 tenths reduced to? 6 over 5. Now what? What, what would you want me to do? Why? So if I said to you negative 3 tenths, Minus 9 tenths, you would tell me what? You see what I'm saying? No, now listen, some of you guys look, get a look on your face. Like just because you, you are in an advanced class, man, it's hard. If you don't learn to tell me something's wrong, I, there's, I can't help you. Right? So be brave. Put your hand up and say, come on, man. I, you got me all messed up over here. I'm not sure what the heck's going on. Explain a little better, please. All right? That's what I want to hear. All right. So did you understand what I said now, right? Okay. What? Oh, wait. So there's a negative, but yes. the number is not a negative in the fraction. So, so listen to me. This is something that's confusing. That's why I'm saying if you're not paying attention, it's going to be more difficult. So this negative, right, applies to the what? And to the? Yes. Right? So this is like negative 4, and then this is also negative 9 tenths. Okay. Right? It's kind of hard because it's not there, right? But you need to think of this whole entire thing as negative. This whole entire thing is what? Negative. So just like that's a what? 
negative 3, that's also a what? Negative, negative 9, which makes oh, the negative yeah. 12. I know what you meant. Come on. Um, so you want it to be negative 12 to disappear by not like 13. I'm not, I'm not there yet. We're not there yet. She had it all correct. I'm saying I'm, I want it written out so everybody can clearly understand my directions. The first thing is this, everybody should have on their paper, this right here. If you don't understand that, we're in big trouble. You have to understand that step. There's no point in me going any further. Now, the next rule is automatically reduce fractions. And she reduced it, just like I told her to, to 6 over 5. Now, you are never allowed to have a mixed number with an improper fraction. All right? So is it easier to change that to 1 and 1 fifth, or is it easier to multiply 5 times 12 plus 6? I think it's easier just to change that to 1 and 1 fifth. So the final answer is... What type of 13? Yes, brilliant. If you understand that, then you have got it all under control. If that was a problem for you, we need to talk. Negative 13 and 1 fifth. Go. Because 6 is the same as 1 and 1 fifth. Right? And there's 12 of them already. And there's another 1, so that makes 13. True? And the one is really a what? Negative one. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying on that. Right? Hopefully. All right. The negative, sometimes I used to, my math teacher just told me, just pull out the negative and just do everything else and then put the negative back in. But I, I wanted to understand what were we doing? Why were we doing that? Right? And I'm trying to tell you something, guys. Listen to me one more time. The 12 is positive or is it negative? Negative. Is the six-fifths positive or negative? It's negative, not positive. Even though there's not a negative sign out in front. And I know you know that, right? But sometimes you're not 100% sure. That's why you got to ask me questions. Everybody happy with that explanation? All right. I'm on number which one now? That was a very good problem. Very good problem. All right. So let's take a look at 25. Who's up? Yep, you're up, buddy. 25. Me, you're up. So what's y? 2 nines. It's minus. Oh. Um, 3 nines. Hold up with that. I need everybody to listen to what he just said. That's what he's thinking of before he says something. It's what? 2 ninths minus, and then, uh-oh, there was another minus sign. So instead of putting the double negatives, we just changed it to a what? Positive. That's beautiful. That's exactly what you should be saying. All right. So now, obviously, the answer is seven ninths. seven ninths. Brilliant. 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 All right. Here we go. You're up. Twenty-seven. Okay. So negative four ninths plus negative four ninths plus five. Ninths. I'm proud of you on that. Thank you. That's exactly how I want you. Think about it first. Okay, hold up. We got a question. Okay, um, the last one. Oh, thank you very much. For 25, we did y minus x. Isn't that what we're doing? Y minus no. x. Listen to me. Don't. It's hey. You have no idea how much I appreciate you double-checking me. You hear me? I mean it. I'm going to make, I know it's going to be life-altering when you see me make a mistake, but most of the time, right? So again, I, you don't, don't have to worry. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be verifying everything I write on the board. And if it contradicts what you're writing on your paper, don't change your paper to my answer until you understand what the problem is. Right? That goes for everybody. You should be correcting me. All right, perfect. That's exactly what I want to hear. All right, so where were we at here for 27? Who said, who's on 27? Okay, did you tell me the answer yet? No. What is it? I got uh, 1 over 9. You're awesome, 1 over 9. So I thought it was negative first. Well, now you're making yourself look bad. Just one ninth is the answer. You didn't have to tell me you thought it was wrong at first. Do you understand it's one ninth? So why is there a 
If you owe me four dollars and you have five dollars in your hand. Oh. Oh yeah. You just wanted to get on the channel. I know that. Yeah, you did. All right, here we go. Ooh, something I haven't taught you. Find the distance between negative seven fifteenths and negative four fifteenths. What would you say that would be? Shh. What would it be? Eleven. Just the number eleven? Oh, um, eleven over fifteen. Hmm. Hmm. We're doing number thirty-one. Wait. Tell him. Um, the distance between. Isn't it, isn't it seven over fifteen and four over fifteen? I'm asking for an answer. You're giving me a question. What is that? Tell him. Is distance negative or positive? positive? So it would be what? Three. Over? 15. 3 over 15. Oh. Everybody agree with that? 3 over 15. You see that now, right? Yeah. Because they're both negative. So for 31, I've got 3 over 15. And of course, we wouldn't say 3 over 15. We'll go ahead and let James. 1 over 5. 1 over 5. Shh, no one's talking to you. <laughs> You've been so good today. Uh-oh, we got a problem. It's, what was the problem that you did on the other page before? What was the, on the problem on the other page that I did before? Like, like at the bottom. Shh. Are we over here? The, that one? What was that one? That was number 27. Oh, okay. okay. The one right underneath 27. Oh, okay. sorry. I didn't know that. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Teasing. All right, you happy with that answer now? Yes. All right. Let's see, smarty pants. We'll see if you can get this one right. I'm not the smartest guy. Oh, I didn't call you the smartest. I said smarty pants. I'm not smart. Oh, that's what? You're going to agree on Oh, my goodness. Stop with the. He's trying to be Just honest. go. Here we go. What's the distance between negative 3 sixteenths and 3 sixteenths? How did you get seven? Seven because three, two, one, zero. Three. So, so th I like what you're doing, but mentally, guys, and this goes for everybody. Pay attention. If I'm here at negative three sixteenths and I walk to zero, how far did I walk? How far did I walk? Three over sixteen, right? And then from zero to three over sixteen, I walked how much? So altogether, it would be. Yes, there you go. That's what I want you to think about it. 6 over 16, but of course we would write that down. We would say 3 over 8. Three over eight. Beautiful. 3 over 8. All right? There we go. That's a good job. All right? 35. Uh-oh. We've got lots of good problems here. You're up. Let's give it your best shot now. No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. It's easier to work with whole numbers and mixed uh, fractions, not improper. So look up for me. I want to show you something. And not, not show you something necessarily, but I, I'm going to guide you through this. All right, so tell me this is what? Now, what I would do is I would say, what's that? So what would the answer be? If I just did the highlighted problem. That's correct. So now I have negative four ninths. Uh oh, that was funny. Negative two and four ninths. Like this. Do you agree with that? Now here's where I'm trying to help you with your number sense and understanding numbers better. So now what's the final answer? You're awesome, but we don't have to say the negative 8 over 9. Right? Now, some of you guys were asking me questions, so if I did a good job explaining, you should have been okay with that now. Is everybody okay with that? All right? Did I have to do 1 ninth minus 5 ninth, or could I have done 1 ninth minus 4 ninths? I just try to pick the easiest ones to go with. Is everybody, is everybody okay with that? All right, so let's take a look now. 
at uh, 49. All right, this is a review problem right here. 49, what do I do? Um, well, first, you have to find the value of the value of 16. But what do I have to do with this guy? Which is what? Good job. Now, what do I do? Good job. Final answer. Positive or negative? Negative. Yes. Negative 10. Okay, so that's just to help you review last week's work. All right? And now, 51. Uh, that's everybody. Um, all right, tell me what to do. Okay, so 3 over 10. Wait. What do I do? Yeah, I'm on the right problem. Brilliant. What do I do? So, don't you cross cancel? Yes. So, 3, three turns into 1, and 3 turns into 1. Times. And then you can divide uh, four and ten into two because you get two over five. Final answer. Two over thirty five. Yes, awesome. Two over thirty five. All right, is the bell about to ring? Come on. What time? Well, we just we just have one we just have one problem left anyway. Elise, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so you make um, the two and two eight so they're fine. So Which is? Get, uh, uh, 38 over 18. Brilliant, girl. Wow, very nice work, girl. And then it's 10 over 18. Wait a minute, though. Now listen, no, you're right, you're right. But listen to me, kiddo. Always don't have to cross. You can do up and down, too. Oh, you can? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And so then you make that a 1 and you make that a 9. And then it's Five over nine. Right. Now you said 10 over 18, right? Yeah. So you would just then do what? Um, reduce it at that point. Mm -hmm. You would be on that. That's why you can reduce up and down. No, okay. Welcome. For those of you guys who did not know, you could do up and down. Well, the reason why I can do up and down is because I can reduce up and down here. Yeah. <laughs> Reducing is when we take a fraction and we reduce. I didn't know what you reduced. <laughs> <laughs> At least he admitted it. Thank you. All right, guys, that was not bad, right? Tomorrow is a little bit harder because you have to get a common denominator. All right, but it's not hard. All right.